So I'm hopping in the truck right now. This guy owns a $7 million landscape business, Steve the Hunt, PMS. We're the guys. What up, bro? How are you, bro? Good to see you. Oh, you like being on it? We're gonna, you're gonna give us some sales tips, man. Okay. I'm out doing quotes, you're out doing quotes. We just met up real quick. And when I'm on the phone with Steve, and he's literally ran me through some sales stuff in my business, blows my mind some of the stuff he talks about. First, I want to say, how often do you have sales meetings in your company? And what are some of the stuff you go over? And what, like, have you created a selling system that you guys do the same thing every time and you tweak it? Can you talk about that for a minute? Sure. So once a week on thir or Tuesday. So I hope hope to see you there tomorrow. What time? Five thirty a.m. Five thirty a.m. Five thirty a.m. We go for two hours, and what we do is it's called price amount close. So you have to give them the, the price the amount and then you try to close the deal and it's all about value so you have to show your client the value of what you're doing what is different about you than everybody else and how long you've been around and how you're going to back it up our system I'll pull up right now just to give you a quick little tutorial. Oh, that's sweet. so here's our little system so oh, so you created a whole slideshow that you show the clients on a straight-up iPad correct so this goes through the tough choice, what to look for, our reputation, how much should you plan to pay, what the difference between a guarantee and a warranty is, exclusive guarantee, how we do it, how you know who you're working with, trust, and then avoiding costly maintenance and repairs by hiring the wrong contractors, what slag does, which in our industry, especially in Michigan, it's an iron ore byproduct that just corrodes the pavers, destroys them, should not put anything on slag sand the way we install water mitigation big thing with building we go through all this and that's how we start so we have to know these pages they roughly take about 45 minutes to go through with the client there then we ask for the business because we know we're the most qualified we know that we're going to do the best job and we asked for the business. Because you built your business from the ground up over 25 years, you started with nothing. Nothing. And back Negative. in 2008, you, whenever the economy was falling apart, you went all the way down, then built it back up again. Correct. 2011, so, I lost everything. Did not go bankrupt, but I got crushed. Took me about four years to come back, work for free. So when you speak to a client and you train your sales guys to speak, you have so much knowledge and authority and, and you, because you've made the mistakes and you like you know exactly what goes into building a, a quality patio okay. what is the importance of having the highest quality so when you speak what you're talking about like is it's the real deal versus somebody who can't sleep at night after a year or two because they're afraid well what if we didn't make the base deep enough what if we didn't make the what if the water is draining the wrong way like what are all these things that you know what I'm saying? It's just experience. So it really, it's when we started and I started, I just started removing patios, taking them apart, seeing why they failed. And every single time, it was almost the same thing. It was load support grid. There wasn't geotides. There was slag sand, which slag essentially swells every time it gets wet and gets frozen, and then mm -hmm. it pushes the walls over. So we reverse engineered how to build a patio. So we watched the way it was built improperly, and then we wanted to overbuild. So we'll... For instance, when we're burying a block, we'll bury two block. We'll tie, we'll do geo tie backs to hold that wall in place and make it homogenous. So that way, the weight of the patio is pulling the wall in, and then we have stress relief where you have hydrostatic pressure pipes that go around. We call them obviously just drain tile, and then we have ports that exit. So when water moves up the wall, it's not putting pressure on the wall. It's able to escape that wall just like you do with your basement. So, and you're expressing all of that to the client. Oh, they and see it all. We go through every way we're going to build it because we want people to know where their money's going. It's not just, hey, this is, here's the price, here's your brick. We want you to know what you're investing in. And you're not just investing in your patio, you're investing in our company. And our company invests in the people that we work with. So the people that are actually building your patio are going to give you an experience unlike any other company. They're going to care about it more than most owners care about it because not only do that's all they do and they're hyper focused on building they're the best at it so they catch things on the field and say we're going to need another two pallets of old wall because it's clay so we're going to have to bury this this block deeper to make sure this thing does not fail see how see how committed and deeply invested this guy is in his business so if people want to take their business to the next level where can they get some of this training and some of this knowledge so they can step up their game and build a multiple six or seven figure business and i mean i would go to you first 
to be honest. I mean, I'm a startup guy, zero to 100K. Yeah, you're zero to 100K, but you've helped me take my business to the next level. Uh, I don't do a lot of training, but um, you can always reach out at PMS uh, on Instagram, PMS We're the Guys. If you have, if you want any advice on building your company, um, I don't really do very much. No, I'm, so. not, I'm not. I'm not. Well, what I mean is like, did you learn all this stuff school of hard knocks? Oh, there... all school of hard knocks. Yeah, I got I got destroyed on every single thing I did. Anything that I learned is because I failed at it. Every sing, I I had to learn every single thing the hard way. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Equip Expo. Yes, I love the Equip Expo. You were there last year. You you brought your crew with you yep. you guys saw new tools and equipment why should somebody go to the equip expo number one the equip expo is going to show you ways to do your job better it's going to build morale because you're investing back in your company so mm -hmm. you're going to take that money that you make instead of putting it into your pocket you're going to put it into the company to make your guys that are building this job their lives are going to be easier when their lives are easier they're going to be able to think more not just with their backs with their heads to build this better the morale of your company is going to boost by tenfold because they're going to see that you're committed to them. And when you commit to your guys, your company is going all the way, no matter what. It's all the way, bro. Thanks so much. Steve DeHaunt, PMS, we're the guys .com. I'll put his Instagram below. You can take a look at some of the reels and some of the work they do. It's absolutely beautiful. And I want to check out your sales training. Yeah, tomorrow. I'd love to have you. Do 5.30 in the morning? Yes, please. I, I promise you. If you come to just one, it will change your life. You will see that 5.30 in the morning, you just awoke. So you're in theta brain state. You're not going to be all revved up, phone calls. It's quiet, and you're there. And you're going to be able to listen and take what, the information that you're receiving, and you're going to be able to implement it because you're going to hear it, you're going to feel it, you're going to write it down, and you're going to be able to go out and apply it pretty quickly. Perfect. That'll all right, bro. I'll be there. Thanks, man. <laughs> Look what we got here, Steve DeHaunt in the house. What's up, bro? How are you? The brick paving master. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, bro. Bro, you just bought a three thousand dollar mountain bike. <laughs> I just bought yours for a hundred bucks. This is all I need. I was in the market for a mountain bike. No, you got one. Three grand. Why would? You... Let me. Because I'm a lunatic. Dude, let me try this. Dude, it feels so direct. It's this is like the BMW of mountain bikes, bro.